yet again it begs the question did nobody watch the show did nobody watch the show all right, we're covering number four and five in this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Let's get on with it. So episode four, title of the episode is Nowhere to Hide. So the first test um, is on the way. Uh, it's time for them to vote. Number 330 um, suggests that they have a group discussion. And then, honestly, he was doing the most. He was talking too much. In scenarios like this, you want to fade into the back so nobody puts your name out. If he hadn't stood up and was talking too much and just making irrelevant suggestions, nobody would have even thought about him, you know, to vote for him. But as soon as he started talking, I was like, if I was in there, I would have said, let's nominate 330. Because I was like, it's time. You want to go, just go. Anyhow, they end up like breaking up and having their own individual dis discussions because the group discussion was not going anywhere. And then it's time to vote. They line up and... For every first vote a player gets, your picture will be put up on the wall. So the first person cannot hide who their vote is because as soon as they vote, the picture is up. And that was a little, it was, yeah, that's the disadvantage of going in first. First person was, I don't remember his number, but the second person was 302, which is Mama, part of the Mother Song crew. So it was like, gosh darn it, why didn't you go to the back? Um, So the first vote went to 347. Side note, 347 had a strategy and apparently his strategy was to appear weak to other people so on a day when you are going to be voting for somebody to go home three sorry three seven four decided that it was a good idea to go around telling people that he's just tired and he doesn't see himself doing this anymore he wants to go home and i'm like what an idiot when you tell give people an opportunity especially on a day when this is all that they have to do what are you expecting so he's surprised that his picture is on the board and i'm like what were you expecting what does what a daunt idiot that's what i wrote down in fact it was good let him go there's no need uh 302 then votes and votes 161 and starts a war 161 because she said 161 was rude to her he is generally rude to everybody but that's just how he is it, um, you could take it personal. I might take it personal if I was in her shoes. Probably would have, but she voted based on her emotions and based on who she wanted to vote, which is what you're supposed to do. I really didn't fault her for her vote. You're, you're allowed to vote for anybody. 179 uh, then votes 330. And 179 had had a grudge against 330 for a bit. She saw him as kind of like an up and comer and she wanted to take out a big player. 330 in, in return votes for 179. 161 in return votes for 302. So now we have five options for you to eliminate from the game. The last person to vote was 141 and he hid his vote, but he ended up voting out 179. And he was supposed to be close with them. So after the votes, he lied to them that he didn't vote for her. Based on the votes, the people eliminated. The first to go was 374. No no surprises there. Second to go was 330. No surprises there. But the third was now 161. And he was not happy. But that's the way the cookie crumbled. Players are now only 70. And the prize money is up to 3.86 million. The next morning, which is the second test day, everyone is strategizing. Alliances are being solidified. Uh, people are exercising, playing games, dancing, just whiling away time. 141 decides to go in for 179. He goes into the washroom and starts talking about how she's a game player and she needs to be ex from the show. And unfortunately, the people we were talking to were close to 179, so they just went on and told her. Besides, he was talking to, I think, 54, who I feel like is Nigerian, because I heard her accent when she was stressed, and it was totally Nigerian. The way our accents come out when we're agitated, excited, kind of. So I heard, I think she is, but I don't know. It's not really confirmed. I just loved it for her. Three, two, oh, these numbers are going to kill me. Two, three, two is sent to the chore room and asked to pick a player to go with him. He decides to take two, four, three. Now, two, four, three has been a big player from the beginning. Um, I like his backstory. He seems like a cool guy. I don't know him personally, but I had nothing against him in the game. And he kind of created a bond with two, three, two. Red and blue envelopes were waiting for them. And they were going to play Dakchi. And if you remember Dakchi, that was the game that they used to um, recruit the original uh, protagonist from the OG series. Uh, so 232 
knew the game as soon as he saw the envelope and decides to start teaching um two four three like they didn't even wait for instructions they never wait for instructions <laughs> and he just he was just in his mind two three two said that in his mind he was just practicing and so they were playing two four three sucked at the game but eventually picked it up and then the announcer comes up and says says two four three you have lost the game of dakji and they're like oh we were playing we didn't know 232 is then handed a security guy then comes in and hands 232 something and walks away 234 is like what is it 232 is like it's a candy bar it's a candy bar it was such a funny he i think he was so scared that his friend was gonna get eliminated and he didn't know what to do but when the security guy walked away he realized that that was his reward they were playing for a candy bar and nobody was gonna get eliminated so they laugh about it and then they go back into the dorm um it's time for the second test um, the announcer says five players must volunteer. Five players are five volunteers are required. They bring in this table thing that has six slots, and then they place six boxes in, in front of excuse me each slot, and then they tell the volunteers to pick a box and stand in front of it. Two two nine, who has been an underdog, a watcher in this whole game, decided that this was her time and that she was going to take a risk. So she's up there, she's shaking, stands in front of her box. They now tell them that the, the, the boxes contain the power to either eliminate somebody else, give somebody else an advantage or win an advantage for yourself, or your own elimination. Those are the options. And that's where episode uh, four ended. So we go to episode five. The title of episode five is Trick or Treat. And that treat was a trick, man. That treat was a trick. Oh my goodness. 183 was first to open his box and they went like everybody was going slow like the speed of how they wound the box determined what was going to pop out <laughs> it made me laugh but again real people real emotions um his box contained the option to eliminate two people he chooses 26 uh because he said that that he had never spoken to that person not even once since their time here and then 141 because he said that 141 had been lying and spreading lies and creating chaos in the dome. 141 then burns 183's alliance and like calls out their numbers and said he never lied and there's an alliance between them before he leaves. So he totally like just poured gasoline and whoosh, burnt that, like just outed them <laughs> to the entire dome. 375 is next and he is eliminated. It was sad, but it is the way the cookie crumbles. 87 was next. And his advantage was to eliminate one player. He chose 176, which was one of the what one of the alliance members that 144 had just burned. And I'm not sure why he chose 176, because for me, 176 was one of the weaker players in the alliance. They were definitely stronger people as part of the alliance. If you're gonna go for an alliance, go for the strongest link. But I guess one person is better than nobody in his mind. So 176 is um, eliminated. 130 was next. He got an advantage. He was happy. Went back to, went down and rejoined the crew. 229 is stressed out. She is shaking. She's crying. She doesn't know what's in her box. She's told to open it and she gets to eliminate three people from the game. Her first choice was 130. The person that just got an advantage and I was like, cut throats hot throat like no mercy he's out second person was two four three steven and i screamed i screamed my mouth was open and i was so heartbroken and it's not like i really liked the guy i just I guess I liked him as part of the game. I was shaken, but I respect it. I respect the decision. The last one was what really killed me. She chose two, three, two. Old team. Because personally, I don't think that they will win. The odds of them making it all the way to the end are slim, you know? So, why she had to eliminate him, I didn't know. But it was strategic, and I respect it. So, the test is over. The results, the players are down to 63. 
and the prize money is up to 3.9 million. Next morning, the announcer says uh, five players are required for chores. Um, in, if they complete their chores, the, the dorm will get treats. The chore is to squeeze oranges and fill up three jars in 30 minutes. They passed, and so the dorm was um, awarded treats. And based on the end, I wondered how, if they had not passed, I'm guessing they would have been eliminated, but... I guess the game will just go as it's meant to be. Anyway, they pass, so they, they get a picnic. The treat is a picnic, and they it's two people per picnic basket. So they're they are told to line up with their partners, pick up a blanket, and they're giving their picnic basket. Um, two, two, two is an odd man out because there's 63 players. Obviously, there's one person who will not have a partner. So he still gets a basket, and he gets a table a picnic blanket, but we don't know we don't know what that would mean for him down the line 301 decides that he's going to search his basket you know just being a game player i get being a part of a game is to always look for something it's like when you go into an escape room and you're checking for clues every single way in every nook and cranny so he decides to check the basket and they find something we only see the bag and then 229 and her partner 278 also find the bag and they reveal that it's marbles it's freaking marbles, which means that your picnic partner is your opponent. And yet again, it begs the question, did nobody watch the show? Did nobody watch the show? Why would you team up with your friend? Why? You go for your enemy and you team up and you eat, you share that bread, that bread, and then you eliminate them later on. Why? <laughs> When they were picking partners, I was like, why are you teaming up with your friends? Why? And unfortunately, mother and son, they were eating together. Which is a normal thing to do if you want to share a meal. Share a meal with your mom, right? But it is squid game. Squid game. Oh, I felt bad for them, but I am so excited for the chaos that is about to erupt. So they're going to be slashed. Um... 222 did not have any marbles in his basket, so we don't know what that's about. So I don't know if he if he is instantly eliminated or if he is instantly graduating to the next level. I have no idea. This was where the next uh the la the episode stopped. And I am excited, man. The marbles one was the most emotional game, I think, for me. Just because of the girls. And the girl, the other girl who died in the original series is the girl playing um, Namsoon right now, which I'm watching. So it's still fresh, people. But I am so freaking excited for the next episode and the amount of slashing down that's about to happen. Again, real people, real emotions. But it is very entertaining and I'm enjoying it. So yeah, I hope you guys are watching as well because this has been really cool. I'm excited for them to whittle down where I can now start using names because I, I think 10, I will start using names rather than numbers or names and numbers, whichever works well for the reviews. But I've been loving it and I hope you guys are too. So be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The next uh, reviews will come next week when the episodes come out. And I will see you in those. Bye! Mm -hmm.